Now let's talk about square roots. What is the square root of 25? What number times itself is 25? 5 times 5 is 25, so the square root of 25 is 5. Now what about negative square root 25 and the square root of negative 25? What's the answer for these? Well, we know the square root of 25 is 5, and there's a negative in front, so it's negative 5. And if you have a negative on the inside, just keep in mind that the square root of negative 1 is the imaginary, um, the imaginary number i. So this is going to be 5i. Try these three. The square root of 81, negative root 81, and also the square root of negative 81. So this is equal to positive 9, this is equal to negative 9, and this is going to be 9i. What is the square root of 36 divided by 49? And also, negative root 121 over 169. Go ahead and try these two. The square root of 36 is 6, and the square root of 49 is 7. That's all you need to do for this one. The square root of 121 is 11, and the square root of 169 is 13. And what about this one? Negative 81 over 144. Go ahead and simplify that example. The square root of 81 is 9. The square root of 144 is 12. And because we have a negative sign on the inside, we need to include the imaginary number i. Now we can reduce 9 over 12. 9 is basically 3 times 4. I mean, not 3 times 4, it's 3 times 3. 12 is 3 times 4. So we can cancel a 3. So therefore the answer is 3 over 4 times i. Now what is the square root of 0.16? What do you think the answer is? Notice that there's two digits to the right of the decimal point. And when you take the square root, the answer should only contain one digit to the right of the decimal point. The square root of 16 is 4. So it's going to be 0.4 since it has one digit to the right. What about the square root of 0 0.0025? Notice that there's four digits to the right of the decimal. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the final answer should have two digits to the right of the decimal point. The square root of 25 is 5, so this is going to be 0 0.05. As you can see, it has two digits to the right of the decimal point. And now what about this one? The square root of 0 0.000 Zero, 081. Notice that we have six digits to the right of the decimal point. Six divided by two is three. So the final answer should have three digits to the right of the decimal point. The square root of 81 is 9. So this is going to be 0 0.009. Now let's talk about cube roots. What is the cube root of 8? What number times itself three times is 8? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, which is basically 2 to the third. So therefore, the cube root of 8 is 2. Now, what is the cube root of negative 27? This, it turns out it's negative 3. Negative 3 multiplied to itself 3 times is negative 27. And how about the cube root of 64, but with a negative on the outside? The cube root of 64 is 4. Negative 4 multiplied to itself 3 times is negative 64. Now what is the cube root of 125 over 216? The cube root of 125 is 5, because 5 to the third is uh, 125. And the cube root of 216 is 6, because if you multiply 6 3 times, you're going to get 216. Now, what is the cube root of a decimal, let's say 0 0.008? Notice that we have three digits to the right of the decimal point. 
Take that number and divide it by the index number. Your final answer should have one digit to the right of the decimal point. Now we know that the cube root of 8 is 2, so this is just going to be 0.2. As you can see, it has one digit to the right of the decimal point. Now what is the cube root of 0 0.000027? Notice that it has six digits to the right of the decimal point. Six divided by the index number, three, is two. So our final answer should have a total of two digits to the right of the decimal point. The cube root of 27 is three. So the final answer is uh, 0 0.03 with two digits. Let's try one more example like that. What is the cube root of 0 0.000000064? So we have a total of nine digits. The cube root of 64 is 4. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So our final answer should have three digits to the right of the decimal point. So it's 0 0.004. And so that's how you can take the square root or cube root of decimal numbers if the number of digits is a multiple of the index number.